love you. I love you. Don't know why. I'm drifting, I'm drifting so out of my mind. Hey guys, this is You Versus Them for the 30th through the 6th of August. This reading is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Thank you everyone for coming and supporting. I really do appreciate that. Let's see, what's been going on with Leo in the past? A lot. Um, we have the Emperor and the Lovers. I feel that you guys have definitely had a very hard time um, try, trying to decide something about somebody that you love, obviously. I feel that with the Emperor, you know, the Emperor does not move. This is the King of Kings. People come to them. And so I feel like there's somebody that's kind of challenging to you guys. Um, and, and you're having a hard time maneuvering around this. You're trying to stay kind of, not cold, but not really trying to let your emotions just completely take over you. And, you know, just trying to keep your cool, I feel, here. But there's definitely somebody here that you care for. Could definitely be two people. I feel that maybe you guys are trying to choose from you. From. Some of you guys, I feel, are married. Um, if you're not married, maybe you guys are divorced, have been in a relationship for a while. And um, either you're thinking about that person and somebody new. Or you're thinking about going back to somebody in this situation is what I'm picking up on here um, this is Aries and um, Gemini energy maybe Taurus as well <clears throat> let's see what's been going on with the other person the four of wands whoever this is strong Aries right now but whoever this person is I feel like this person is open. They're ready. This person is ready to be in a stable, happy home relationship here. Um, and I feel like they, they're not wanting any conflict. They're not waiting on anybody to decide this for them or waiting on somebody to make them happy. I feel like this person right now is stable and, and, and maybe a little content in their own right. But as far as you guys are concerned, I feel like this person would um, welcome you guys with open arms here. Being an Aries energy. Very open, very loving, very giving. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> What's currently going on for Leo? What's currently going on for Leo? I feel like you guys have been stuck for a while here. Seven of Cups. Not really knowing how to feel, what to do with those feelings here. I see that with this Emperor energy because I feel like you guys are trying to hold yourselves back from what it is that you feel that you want. It's like you're not allowing yourself to truly feel the emotions that you have for this person is what I'm getting here with the Seven of Cups energy. And maybe daydreaming about it, thinking about it, um, contemplating it, but not really deciding that this is for sure what it is that you want. What's currently going on for the other person? Knight of Pentacles. This person knows what they want, but they're not making any sudden moves towards you. I feel them, like I said, they have open arms, but the Knight of Pentacles moves very slowly. They like to plan things out, weigh their options. Again, I don't feel like this person is like waiting on you necessarily, but they know that you're there is a the thing. And I feel like this person would come towards you if you were to decide here with the Seven of Cups that this is what you want. Come back on down to the Six of Cups is what they're saying. Want to reunite. 
wanting to share your feelings with them. Six of Cups is that, like that soulmate, um, kindred spirits energy. Right now I see you not really being sure of how you feel. Once you decide what it is that you actually feel and want to go towards this person, I feel like this person, and look, as I put their deck down, something made me look under the bottom of there. You see what that says? Let's see if I can move it back a little bit and you can focus. That's the lovers as well. So, you guys are definitely feeling each other, whether you know it or not. And you may actually be feeling them spiritually, physically, like their presence. Okay? What's influencing Leo? The Three of Swords. You've got some heartbreak. Um, some disappointment that is currently influencing your situation and that's probably why you're not so willing to open up here with this emperor energy there's there's definitely something i feel like you guys um have not healed from and it may not be something that's so very fresh but it could be this could definitely be a breakup with somebody that you were in a relationship for a while could definitely be like i said before initially at the beginning you guys if you're not married some of you guys have been with somebody for a while and you're not with them any longer and it's caused you to like kind of close yourself off a little bit i feel here so that is what's going on and what's influencing this situation is that there's still something that needs to heal i feel within you guys aquarius energy there <clears throat> Let's see. What's influencing the other person? Ace of Wands. This person wants a fresh start. No baggage. No conflict. They want a fresh start. And I, I'm getting that this person... There's something that you guys are sharing energetically. This person, I feel, knows somewhat about your situation that you are in or have been in. And they're not trying to push the buck with you. They are definitely open to having a new start, a new beginning with you guys, though. This person is probably very attracted to you, and you guys are very attracted to them. And I feel like it's more than just a physical attraction. I feel like this is on a soul level, a spiritual level here. This is some deep shit, Leos. Sheesh. I like it, though. Other than the Three of Swords energy with the broken heart, I mean, I feel you because, you know, when you've been burned, you've been hurt, you've loved and you lost um, several times, it's hard to just, like, fillet yourself open and just say, okay, here I am, you know, let's see. <clears throat> oh, yeah, okay, coming in, the four cards, so it's kind of getting to me there. Let's see what's coming in for Leo's. Seven of Wands. Resistance. You guys are kind of resisting this new start with this person. Definitely have your guard up. Have some blockages going on. I've definitely got that stuck feeling for you guys. Let's move these over some. But you're definitely showing resistance here to this person. To this new start you see in this card she's holding that ace of wands and holding it close to her, ch her chest she's not extending it out not lighting the way it's like being on reserve wanting it but not being sure okay not sure if it's going to succeed and be successful and you know that sort of thing <clears throat> what's coming in for the other person. The Eight of Wands. This person's ready to move forward. They're ready. You know, they've been through a lot of shit too, this person. But they are ready to continue forward. Whatever they have gone through, whatever experiences they've had, they have not let that get in the way of them continuing with their life in a positive way 
direction and they want to continue with you guys they are ready to move forward and I feel like this person is waiting on you could definitely be a Taurus here maybe an Aries Taurus Cusper because we have the Knight of Pentacles here too we have fire and earth here Sagittarius energy this person is definitely ready to move forward I feel like they have a lot of regrets surrounding another um, relationship or even a relationship with you guys. They may have a lot of regrets with that Five of Cups energy there, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> Let's see. What is the outcome for Leo in this person? Eight of Cups. I see you guys coming back. You know, in this Eight of Cups, look at this. Usually, you know, the cups are behind the person. And it's like they've had their fill of whatever emotions they were feeling. And it's like, you know, it's time for me to do me. It's time for me to start over. But in this Eight of Cups, the cups, the person is walking back towards something else. Towards this situation. I feel like all of the disappointments and and negativity and talking yourselves out of of being with this person or contacting this person loving this person you're leaving all those fears behind i see somebody coming back here definitely coming back here and you notice the red in this card it looks like the wands cards here Hmm. Piscean energy is present. And I kind of felt that Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Gemini, Aries is very strong, Taurus is strong, Sagittarius energy as well. Somebody's decided to come back and give this another shot, give it another go. Because they see happiness here. This is not going to be for all of you, but somebody is definitely, you know, trying to show some vulnerability in this upcoming week and, and saying to hell with it. This is what I want. I, I at least want to try it. You know, let's see. What is the outcome for the other person? Six of Swords. Moving forward. Letting bygones be bygones. If there is some kind of hurt that you guys have shared between the two of you, I see this person putting that to bed. Letting bygones be bygones. There's something very new, um, quite possibly changed about this person. But I see them letting go of the hurt and the pain that they have experienced and moving forward. Okay, so that is what I have, and I'm going to go ahead and pull um, a Romance Angels card for you guys to close out this reading. Yeah, this person wants to definitely have a conversation with you guys, and I feel an open and honest conversation to address some things that may have happened between the two of you before in the past. And I don't know if that's why you guys are, you know, resisting a little bit. Maybe the both of you share this Three of Swords energy, this heartbreak. You know, this could be one card for Leo. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. That's a very strong message. Very strong message. Release your ex. Only you know what that means. I have an inkling of what it means because, again, I feel there has been a breakup here. But there, there's also, I feel like, somebody else that may be in the picture that you guys are, um, you have mixed feelings about here. Mixed feelings about somebody and then somebody that you've broken up with. It's time to release your ex. The feelings that come along with that break up um, whatever issues you guys had to not put them you know lay them on this connection if that means anything to some of you okay and it will 
Um, but anyway, so that's what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye. I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?